Good morning, my family in Christ, especially our intercessors this morning. Welcome to another morning devotion. So glad that you've joined me this morning. And today we honor God for another opportunity to pray, to intercede, to cry out on behalf of others and even ourselves, even today. Today, we lift up the first and the greatest institution made by God, and that is marriage and family. We are still under attack from the beginning of time to this very moment. Marriages and family is still under attack. But we have prayer for our defense and offense. And yes, believers, if we pray according to the will of God, God still hears and answers our prayer. And so I want to encourage us today to let us pray that we return to the materials that God has given to us to build families. One, godly marriages. Two, prayer and the word. Three, discipline and love while caring and having fun, to name a few. Pray that parents will be committed to the kingdom of God principles. Let's pray that children will obey their parents. This is so important. The Bible says that your days may be long upon the earth. We want to pray that parents do not provoke their children to anger. Intercessors, it is never too late to pray. And God still hears and answer prayer. We must pray that our marriages be rescued, that families be rescued, and ultimately that our children be rescued in this season. A meditation comes from Psalm 127, verse 1, and it reads, Except the Lord build a house, they labor in vain that build it. Except the Lord keep the city, the watchman wake it, but in vain. The word of God to the people of God. So let's pray today. Let's intercede. Get someone else to join you. Let's pray for marriages. Pray for family. Indeed, God still hears and he still answers prayer. Father, we thank you for your word today that declares, except the Lord build a house, they live in being that build it, except the Lord keep the city, the watchman will work in vain. So I commend to you families today. I commend to you marriages. I commend to you children. I thank you for intercessors today who will be on the war and interceding on behalf of families, on behalf of marriages, on behalf of children. So many situations, circumstances that we are dealing with. More particularly, the enemy is fighting, attacking in every which way, form and fashion. But we thank God that we have prayer. We thank God that we can commune with heaven and declare and advise and indeed instruct so that heaven will act. And we bless you that whatever we bound on earth will be bound in heaven. And we praise you today that we bind the plan of the enemy. We bind the plans of the enemy against marriages, against families. Family. We will build, we come against, and we bless you that we will return to those materials that you have given to us godliness, righteousness, indeed, obedience. We bless you today. And these things that we neglect, we will go back because we repent today. We repent for neglecting. We repent for turning ourselves away from you, for doing it our own way. And today we are reaping harvest. But oh God, thank you for your mercy. Thank you for your love and kindness as we recommit to you. We commit mothers and fathers. We commit children and homes. We commit back to you today. 
and we will serve you. I commit my home, oh God, my wife, my children. I commit to you today and your will be done. And those issues that are so devastating, so challenging, I pray for the mind that it will be at peace today. I pray that you return to salvation and serving God. That wife who has been battered, that husband likewise, those children, that they will return in relationship with you where healing and hope, uh, comfort and care is given in the presence of God. You know everything. You see our society is turning, how things are turning out today. But oh God, we bless you that you are still the builder of the family. You are still the one who build a home when we commit to you today. We honor you, God. We pray you forgive us. Forgive us of our sins. Forgive us for neglecting. Forgive us for straying, oh God. Forgive us for doing it our own way. And we are reaping havoc as a result. But you are God of mercy. You God of peace. You God of hope. So we bless you. We come against the violence in every form, in every fashion. And we praise you. And we will be right in your sight today. Because of your grace, we will do that which is right and righteous. Because of your mercy, in Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Let's continue in intercession today. Let's intercede. Let's trouble the throne. God still hears the answer. God bless your intercessors. Have a great day in the Lord.